Hi, I'm Kamal. Come and join me in the adventure of searching for article. Okay, now we're going to see how do you want to search for article through discovery. So first of all, simply go to www.lib.usm.my. Then from here, you can scroll down a bit until you see Chrysalis. And under Chrysalis, please choose discovery. Click on it, discovery. And please key in any keyword related to your own research. For example, I want to key in education as my keyword. And simply click search. So discovery is actually, it is like a window to all the databases that library subscribe. So once we get the result like this, of course, if you use a general keyword like myself, you're going to get so many results and almost impossible for you to download, uh, scroll one by one or download them all. So what you need to do is, in order to find the most relevant article to yourself, you need to fully utilize the refine function on the left hand side of the page, as you can see here. So let me show you a few examples on how you can use this function. First of all, uh, the most important one, if you use discovery, you need to bear in mind about this one, limit to. So by default, they're going to put under available in library collection. So now, you better untick this one. Because now you are focusing on searching for article in our databases. Then you tick full text, limit to full text. So that they're going to refine the result only with full text. So easy uh, for you later on to download them. Okay, other than that, you may also see the publication date refine function here. So you can choose uh, the period of time that you want to download. For example, instead of putting it like this, maybe you, you just want to focus uh, yourself to download the article from uh, three years back or four, uh, five years back, uh, depending on your field. For example, I want to focus the result starting from 2015 to 2019. Then I click enter. Then uh, suppose the system will update uh, for you automatically. Next. You can scroll down more and you can refine yourself accordingly. For example, you can refine also by source type. For example, I just want to focus on academic journal, so I may tick it here. So they're going to avoid any other kind of material. And you may also refine your search by subject. For example, if I type education, it is quite general. So if you want to relate it to another subject, or maybe some of the subject might be related to the uh, cross-disciplinary uh, kind of research. So you can simply choose the subject from here. If it is not appear in here, so you can click show more in order to see all the subject related to it. Then you can choose directly from the list. And even you can choose more than one subject to focus on, then you can simply update. Once you have finished refining your result, only then you go to the middle of the page. And now you can start downloading the article relevant to yourself. So as long as you can see this sign, a PDF full text icon here, meaning that you're going to get the 
uh, PDF of text directly from here. So you just click on it to download this uh, specific research paper. Then they they will open for you the full text. And now you can simply download them directly from here, or even you can um, print them, save the article into your Google Drive, email to your colleagues, and so on, as you can see here. But most of the time, you're going to download them, so you simply click this one, download button here, and you simply save them into your computer. For example, article one. Then choose your. Then you click save. And if you click, then this is the full text article that you have. You just downloaded from the database.